Hey, what's going on guys? So Southampton have signed centre-half Armel Bella Kochup from Bochum for a reported eight and a half million pounds. He arrives on a four-year deal after helping his side seal a mid-table finish in the Bundesliga after winning promotion just the season before. At 20 years old, he's a player with a huge amount of potential and one that fits into the profile that Hazen Huttel enjoys working with as he can mould them into the type of footballer he wants for his system. As per The Athletic, Southampton saw off competition from a whole host of other English and German clubs to bring the youngster in, possibly due to the fact that he's likely to get game time at St. Mary's immediately upon arriving. In terms of his background, Bella Kotschap was actually born in Paris before migrating to Germany at the age of four, at which stage he was already signed up by a club's academy side. He caught Borussia Mönchengladbach's attention when he was 11 and remained with them for the following three years. After trying his hand at various other teams in the country, he signed his first professional contract with Bochum at 17 and has seen a meteoric rise ever since. Impressing youth coaches across the nation, he was given game time for Germany's under-18s and under-20s before being promoted to the under-21s in 2021, for whom he's already made nine appearances for. At senior level, he made headlines in a German Cup game against Bayern Munich when he had Robert Lewandowski in his pocket. Although Bochum went on to lose the game 2-1, it was an eye-catching performance for a teenager representing a second division side against a club that would go on to win the treble in the same season under Hansi Flick. The frightening part about this fella is that he's 6 foot 3, built like a tank and likely to become even more of a physical presence once he fills out into his frame over the next couple of years. Aside from sheer power and athletic prowess, Bella Kochap has bags of pace, which results in him winning the majority of second balls and recovering brilliantly should he make a mistake and or be caught out of position. With this combination of balance, stamina, speed and aerial ability, the boy is a centre forward's worst nightmare. He's also accustomed to playing for a side that push up the pitch and pressure to win the ball back as quickly as possible before transitioning into fast and direct attacks. That proactive approach will come in handy for Southampton and suit the front foot defending that he excels in. Although he's aggressive in the manner that he carries himself, Bella Kochap is remarkably composed for someone so young, using his anticipation to stomp out opposition attacks completely. There are, however, some chinks in his armour. When his sides have their backs against the wall, his positioning can become extremely disjointed, which results in failure to cover angles and stop his runners. He also struggles up against strikers who play on the shoulders. He can step up too quickly in an attempt to play the offside trap and thus leave the opposition goal scorer with a one-on-one -on -one chance versus the goalkeeper. With time and space, he looks comfortable on the ball with both feet. He makes passes between the lines. He's able to spray long diagonal balls to the wing and is a key cog in build-up play. However, when pressed, that same technique seemingly dissipates with heavy touches taken that often result in him clearing his lines aimlessly. Press resistance is an overused term in the modern day game, but is something the coaching staff will need to address with them moving forward, as the majority of teams in English football implement an element of it into their play. In addition, Bella Kochap has only made 22 appearances in top flight football and found himself on the bench on 10 occasions, a slightly worrying lack of experience for a side currently plying their trade in the Premiership. Overall though, he's an immense talent who will need time and space to grow and will undoubtedly make some mistakes along the way. Inconsistency is to be expected with young players, but when he's on his A-game, I'm sure all involved in English football will sit up and take note. Cheers for tuning in, guys. If you're a Southampton supporter, do check out my video on Gavin Bazunu. It's on the top right-hand corner of your screen, and I'd be more than happy to answer any questions that you may have in mind. For some reason, this one's gone slightly under the radar. You haven't really seen it reported on the likes of Sky or BBC, at least not on their front page. But I well and truly believe it's a very exciting signing, and I can't wait to see how he gets on in English football. Share your thoughts down below and have a great day. Peace.